Happy Friday. It is a perfect day to head downtown for a fun event. And we get home in time to see our Reds score 19 runs. Let's have ourselves a Friday, shall we? Happy Friday, Calico. Oh, stretch. Stretch it up, kitty. Stretch it up. You're so tired. You're so tired. Hello, happy Friday evening. We are here downtown Indianapolis for an event over at Victory Field where the Indians play. We're going to go have some fun, take you with us. It's called Swing. We're going to see what it's all about. Let's go see uh, how much fun we have. all kinds of stuff down on the field, all kinds of tables, and up in the concourse is where all the food is. So here we are in the field, there's all kinds of stuff down here. Kind of cool. Some play. Maybe that some plate's a little bit nicer than we play on. This is really nice. I think it is. Well, I don't know. It doesn't look like it. Beautiful sight, isn't it? Okay, we've determined it is real grass, but pretty cool. It does not look real, but it feels real. Okay, there was some great food at this event. I'm just going to tell you what we ate. We're going to put all the things in the description below. Some great macaroni and cheese with some barbecue on top. It was fantastic. I actually may have gotten this two different times. There is a meatball with some mashed potato type thing mixed in there. Not totally sure. Didn't, it was okay. This was the best of the night. Buffalo tortellini, some delicious meatballs. This one was fantastic. Nice, good old buffalo wing there with a, uh, a slider, with coleslaw on it, all kinds of stuff. Here you go, Blondie's Cookies. Fantastic, amazing, as usual. These were very, very good. Um, these fries may be the best fries that I've had in a long time, and a nice burger slider, cheese on it, tasted delicious. These are wings from the Alien Porium. They were absolutely hot, so hot. I only actually ate three of the four. Uh, this was a little chicken and waffles. Not bad, not bad. Lots of syrup on there, which was really, really good. And here is a, this, nobody actually had a drink. They just got the cup because it had a light up ice cube in it. That was pretty cool. There's some margaritas there, giving away margaritas. That is a slice of delicious pepperoni pizza from Arnie's. We get this quite frequently and it was delicious. Very, very tasty. They also had these down on the field, a couple different, um, I think there were bourbon stations where you could go get a sample and then also kind of get a picture opportunity as well. So that was pretty cool. And this may have been the best thing there. Blurry picture, but it was a filet slider from St. Elmo's. Absolutely delicious. So good. Sorry, that picture is not very good, but it was really good. That wall doesn't look very high, but it is literally like 10 feet tall. It is so high, but it's so cool. It's like uh, this grass is like walking on your carpet. All right, so there's all the vendors around the outside, everything down in the on the field, and we're gonna go ahead and check it. Fun night. Beautiful ballpark, isn't it? Look at this, 19 to two for the Red Legs. Holy cow, they hit about 9,000 home runs. The Cardinals kept throwing it into the stands. A big one the Reds had to have. They have to sweep the Cardinals to have any chance at the playoffs. And it's a good start on a Friday. Okay, our Friday has come to a close. I hope you enjoyed um, some of the sights and sounds of the event downtown. It's called Swing. Put on by the Indianapolis Indians at Victory Field. It was for some of their nonprofits. It was great. Uh, to be at, um, I've never done really that kind of voiceover before with pictures and stuff, but... Um, I'm not, I did not want to like record video. There was a lot of people around and you just kind of walked up. All of the, uh, concession stands were open at the field, but it was like the restaurants had a little area in each concession stand. You just kind of walked up and got your stuff. So there really wasn't any lines or anything like that. So I didn't want to do any recording. Um, kind of like how they do. Uh oh, I think we got a broken toe. What did you step on? Oh no. Those welcome mats will get you. 
Um, anyway, all the people that are down at Disney and they do like the food and wine and stuff and they show all the booths and everything and all the people, I just didn't really want to do that. It was kind of a more smaller crowd, so it was a lot of fun. Uh, perfect evening, perfect evening. Got a little chilly there at the end, um, but it was amazing. It was a good day um, for lunch. Oh, I had a lunch meeting. Um, had a uh, chicken sandwich, which was good. Um, Heidi had Jimmy John's. Philip got early and he got some pizza. And then for dinner, we got the kids' pizza. Uh, Luke ran over to the high school game, which was fun. And uh, we hung out at this event, got back, watched the end of our Reds game. They won 19-2. to The Cubs lost. Um, the Cubs, or the Reds are a game and a half back, I think, in the playoffs. So, wow, we got some... We're eating something over there. The garbage disposal is doing something. Anyway, yeah, Philip. God bless Philip's heart. He's he's the, he's the most intelligent eleven year old. But he had three bowls of cereal today, and he had used three bowls. So and we're running out of cereal. Anyway, tomorrow Saturday. There's some weird random college football games. Um, USC Colorado early. Michigan plays at three thirty. Purdue plays at three thirty. I don't think North Carolina plays. Um, I don't think what IU does is considered playing. So we'll see what happens with everything. But we're going to watch some football, hang out, and then we play baseball on Sunday. So it'll be a great weekend. The kids have one more week before fall break. So a lot of stuff going on in the next seven to eight days. We'll take you with us as much as we can. Thanks for being here. Appreciate all of you. Um, I did a shorts video this morning saying thank you. We're 3,300 followers. So thank you so much. Um, I started this uh, a couple years ago just to kind of let family stay informed of what we're doing during covid and uh, I enjoy it. So thanks for being here. Appreciate all of you. And uh, if there's anything you uh, think we should do around Indianapolis, around the Midwest, let us know. I know that our friend Larry in Bristol has had some great comments and we need to start getting to that list. But um, hopefully we can hit more events like this. And this was our first, this was my first time like trying to like vlog an event without being that obnoxious guy with the camera going everywhere. So uh, hopefully it made some sense. Hopefully you enjoyed seeing some stuff. The food was great. Uh, a lot of great restaurants in town. It was all delicious and it was really, really good. So um, my favorite thing was the buffalo tortellini, which was tortellini like in some buffalo sauce. And then they had meatballs. What was your favorite thing? The slider? Um, yeah. Sorry, I'm just touching my face. Filet slider from St. Elmo's. Filet slider from St. Elmo's. St. Elmo's is a great steakhouse downtown in Indianapolis. It's known for its shrimp cocktail. It did have the shrimp cocktail there. That cocktail sauce is supposed to just put a hole in your mouth, basically. It's so hot. So anyway, thanks for being here. We'll take you with us tomorrow. What we do, there's the pantry. And amazingly, we need to go buy some food, even though looking at the pantry, it is full. All right. Talk to you later. Have a great weekend. Go Tar Heels, even though I don't think they play.